We're gonna go ahead and mark up two and a half inches on the bottom on this side and then we're gonna flip it over here and we're gonna mark two and a half inches up from the bottom here. Open it up and we're gonna center our seam allowance down the center of the triangle. Make sure to pull it all the way out and you can eyeball that down the center. Measure here and here alongside the mark that you made. And that looks about even. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our seam allowance to the right. The reason we're folding to the right is because we're gonna be sewing from this direction and we want the presser foot to come up over this and jump off the seam allowance edge. So now that we've folded it, we're gonna go ahead and draw a line across the triangle. Just like that. And then we're gonna clip this in place. So go ahead and also throw in a couple straight pins at the top here. Now, if you're sewing really thick fabric and your machine won't go up and over and through all of these layers, then you can sew from this side and turn your work around and then sew from this side. So I'm gonna show you these two different options of how to sew this. So we're gonna use a regular presser foot and make sure that your needle is centered in a stitch length of three and a half. So we're gonna go ahead and remove our clips. And then this is really, really thick, so your machine might not do it. So we'll go ahead and go slow. And if you hear some resistance from your machine and it doesn't wanna puncture, you can go ahead and take your hand to the hand wheel and use your hand wheel. And that's a nice technique for really thick fabric because with the hand wheel, you can really control the puncture of the needle and you can feel at what point that the needle hits too much resistance that it won't actually go through the fabric. And sometimes if you can't quite get through the fabric with your hand wheel, then you can back the needle out. You can lift your presser foot and you can just move your fabric just a little bit to a different spot and see if it will puncture in that spot. Don't forget to put your presser foot back down. So with this, it's really thick. The machine did do it. But what I did when I sewed it is I used short bursts on my foot pedal to make sure that the machine went as slow as it needed to go in order to sew through that thick fabric. Then you're gonna take your work out. We're actually going to transfer this mark to the other side. With our seam allowance folded towards us so that it's clear of this stitch, we're gonna go ahead and stitch this down. And we're just gonna stitch up to and now all the stitching of our bag is finished and we'll turn it inside out. Admire your handiwork. Yay, you've made it this far. Now all we need is our leather handles to make our tote complete.